When moving into the recurrent setting where we have more data on metastasis directed therapy and SBRT, we um, have different options depending where the recurrence is located. And one of the topics that will be discussed during the EAU will be nodal recurrences inside the pelvis. And there are actually three main local regional options being salvage surgery, which will be tackled by one of my urology colleagues, or radiotherapy. And in radiotherapy, you have two options, either SBRT, meaning you only direct your radiation treatment at the suspicious node on mostly now PSMA PET CT, or elective nodal radiotherapy, where you not only treat the suspicious nodes, but also the ones nearby. So you actually treat the whole pelvic area. The differences between these approaches are, of course, first SBRT, more focal radiotherapy, resulting in almost no side effects whatsoever, as compared to elective nodal radiotherapy, where you can see, again, 10 to 20% of temporary grade 2 toxicity and some grade 3 toxicity, mostly less than 5%. So there is a bit of a difference in the um, toxicity profile. However, when you look at the retrospective data at the pattern of recurrence, it appears to be that there are less recurrences in the patients getting elective nodal radiotherapy. And there were some very interesting prospective data uh, from uh, Princess Margaret Group. And the other one is the oligopelvis trial, which uh, will appear very soon in European neurology, which actually also looked into both options. However, they didn't have a comparator arm. So these were single arm trials. So we still don't know the exact answer to this question. And that is why we have designed the STORM trial or the PEACE-5 trial, in which we will be comparing that SBRT versus elective nodal radiotherapy, trying to elucidate which is the best option.